didn't reappear for more than a thousand years, when knights from the First Crusade discovered secret vaults beneath the Temple of Solomon. You see, the knights who found the vaults believed that the treasure was too great for any one man, not even the king. They brought the treasure back to Europe and took the name the Knights Templar. Over the next century, they smuggled it out of Europe. They formed a new brotherhood called the Freemasons in honor of the builders of the Great Temple. Now look here, man. The Freemasons among our founding fathers left us clues like these. The unfinished pyramid, the all-seeing eye, symbols of the Knights Temple, guardians of the treasure. They're speaking to us. Treasure beyond all imagining. For millennia, Jerusalem's Temple Mount has been at the forefront of the battle of the great monotheistic religions. And once again today, passions are threatening to spill over into bloodshed. I want the whole world to hear me. Al-Aqsa is in danger. Al-Aqsa is in danger. As God is my witness, I tell you, someone is conspiring to destroy Al-Aqsa. Yesterday evening, the police, Jerusalem District Department, assessed the situation. We're continuing our police measures in order to maintain the situation. At the beginning of February 2007, the Israel Antiquities Authority began excavating just outside the Temple Mount compound near Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Western Wall. The authority says this work was in preparation for the erection of a permanent ramp leading to one of the Temple Mount gates. All the work we are conducting here is absolutely outside the limits of the Temple Mount. We are standing about 50 meters from the wall. Nothing will be conducted within the area of the wall. The Muslim community in the Palestinian areas and Israel was enraged. It's the third incident in a month involving archaeological digging close to Al-Aqsa Mosque, and Muslim leaders claim more covert operations are taking place. There are tunnels dug from more than one direction. One of them goes from the Silwan neighborhood toward the sacred Al-Aqsa Mosque. They destroy the mosque gradually. In this act, they call for a wide religious war in the region. Israel strongly denies any digging in the Temple Mount compound and beneath Al-Aqsa Mosque. Highly respected rabbis join in denials of excavations, pointing out the site is the holiest in Judaism, with many saying that Jews are forbidden from entering because of its holiness. Today, till Messiah will come, and we will be pure enough to climb up the mountain. We cannot pray there, not because it's not ours, because it's the dearest and the holiest place. Meanwhile, leaders of Hamas and Fatah convened in Saudi Arabia to resolve their disputes. The recent turmoil near Al-Aqsa seemed to unite the two sides against Israel.
the Rothschilds, whose French companies had helped finance Hitler and the Jewish slave labor camps, had turned Jewish Holocaust victims into victimizers. Imprisoned inside barbed wire refugee camps, the Palestinians began to resemble the victims of Nazi concentration camps. According to author Simon Shama, the Rothschilds own 80% of the land of Israel. Even the flag of Israel flies the hexagram symbol from the Rothschild family's red shield. The hexagram has six points, six triangles, and six sides on the central hexagram.